वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला इन द पेपर वेब एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग पी एच पी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ सेशन ऑन एरे इन द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ एरे आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज एरे वॉट आर एरे एलिमेंट्स इंडेक्स एंड वैल्यू हाउ टू एड एंड डिलीट एन एलिमेंट फ्रॉम एरे हाउ टू यूज फॉर इच लुक एंड वी हैव सीन फ्यू बिल्ट इन फंक्शंस फॉर एरे in today's session i am going to discuss about multi dimensional array and some more built in functions for array so the array of arrays is known as a two dimensional array it is also known as a 2d array or nested array now in that you de define an array inside an array so this is known as a nested array of course the nesting can be any level if this is two then it is two dimensional array if it is more than it is third dimensional array now the nested array is of same size then it is known as a rectangular array and this is mainly used uh, when you de develop any application but sometimes the uh, nested array may not be of same size so that type of array is known as a jagged array uh, that we can also define let me show one example of two dimensional array so let me open my notepad file and let me start write coding to demonstrate two dimensional array so let me start opening and closing php tag go to the file menu in notepad plus plus save as and i will create on my vem folder www folder epg folder create new folder and give its name as a array 2 and this is my first file so let me write 2d demo dot php so let me create one array names is equal to array which is array of let me define one and name is sanjay comma another array it is not necessary to write in second line but to improve the readability i just write in second line 2 we pull and let me add third element array 3 harish so this is a two dimensional array because there is a array inside array now to display any value you can type echo br dollar names 1 0 so this is represent zero is the i write here id and one is column one is name so i can write id is equal to this then echo br name is equal to dollar names 1 1 so that will give me access of any single element right now I, it will display one is two and we pull let me show this so let me open this in the folder epg array 2 and to the demo so it shows array to string conversion is not allowed so let me put here concatenation by complete single quote and remove this in the same way provide complete this and concatenate this now if i run this so it will display again the error on line 6 i have to remove this one save this file execute this so it will display id is 2 and name is vipul you can display all the value also you can just need to type echo h1 print all the values slash h1 let me type i want to display in table so let me define echo table border is assigned to 2 the value of border is 2 uh, 
and simply border is 2 and complete double quotation is complete then I can define echo table row td first I will need to define id slash td then again td name and slash td then I will write for dollar $r here I define dollar $r for row is assigned to 0 dollar $r is less than or equal to 2 because there are 3 rows 1 2 and 3 that's why I write 0 to 2 and dollar $r plus plus then nested loop for dollar $c is assigned to 0 dollar $c is less than or equal to 1 and dollar $c plus plus and write echo td dollar names dollar r dollar c slash td so inner is complete then echo table row and let's save this file and execute the code so save this one run this one so there is a syntax error on line 15 I haven't provide semicolon that's why it shows error save this one execute it so look at here okay I haven't provide particular way id is this then I will write let me write echo table row and this value save this one so look at here it will display in tabular value all this value name and this value so this is two dimensional array now here as I say here the nested array has the same array length 1 and 2 but it may be different so this is known as a jagged array so let me give you one example of that one let's say define php and I save this file file save as second jagged array demo dot php let me define dollar names is array here I write 1 and let me write Sanjay so this is array of array so I have to write that way comma then array 2 Vipul and Mehta comma array 3 and Harish comma array and only write name only so this is jagged array you can check it this is array of array but first as a two length second as a third fourth as a two fourth as a one and you can also display each of them value by using for each so let me just write echo h1 display jagged array slash h1 let me write for each dollar names as dollar outer key error operator dollar outer value then you can write for each dollar outer value as dollar inner key error operator dollar inner value and here I print by just echo dollar i value 
and here I write echo br. So here I just print this one. Let me demonstrate the uh, execution part of that. So just refresh it. So here it will display that you can see you can provide space then you can concatenate with space and let me execute that code. So it will display all this value. Now to give better idea let me just put remarks into it and I just type echo dollar i key dot space dot dollar i value. So you get better idea how internally it will store. It will store as a 0 as a value 1 and 1 as a value Sanjay. In the 0th position or 0th column value is 2 and the first column is Vipul, second column is Mehta and so on. So that is way it will uh, internally store. Here I give demonstration of two dimensional array in uh, 2D demo as well as in uh, Jagad array. But it can be third dimensional or more level also but generally 2D or up to third level is sufficient when you work in real life application. So this is about multi-dimensional array. Now uh, let me come to the some of the more built-in functions of array. You can find out all these built-in functions at php.net as well as php manual available on php's website. But few of this function that I would like to discuss is first one is range. This function takes three parameter the initial value or low value, maximum value and optional you can provide step. So let me create one new file to give you idea about this one. So save this file as a file, save as third one array function 1 dot php. So first is range function so just define dollar numbers is assigned to array underscore range so the function is only range so that's I don't need to write array just type range and let me provide value for this one. So here I define let me define value for 1 to 10 and I want to increment it by 2. So this is I can create value a range then I just display for each dollar numbers as dollar value and echo br dollar value. So I just save this one. Let me run this file in my browser. So it will display 13579. So this is the range that you can apply here. Of course you can try about 10 to 1 and step maybe minus. Let us check what actually works. So will it display 10, 8, 6, 4 and 2. So this way you can create array then another function is array underscore push that takes two parameter array and value. So that will be add and val uh, value at the end of an array means append a value to that. So here I write demonstration for that array underscore push. So let me define dollar names is equal to array and let me define j darshan then let me write bhavna rekha divya right so these are anything now i write dollar push is assigned to array underscore push and let me add Chaya and the syntax I have to provide first array. So let me write dollar names comma this. So that way now I can write okay I don't need to provide push it is just a function 
I can write for each dollar names as dollar name and echo PR dollar name save this file execute it so it will display all the value Jai Darshan Bhavna Rekha Divya and Chaya will be appended there then next function is only array underscore pop so this function will uh, re remove and return the last element of array so here I write demonstrate for array underscore pop so let me write echo h1 example for array underscore pop slash h1 so I can define dollar pop is assigned to array underscore pop and it will take only one parameter so let me type dollar names then I write echo br pop is dollar pop and you can use for each dollar names as dollar name echo br dollar name right here I put one more br so we know that what is actual array is so I save this one let me show the demonstration of push and pop so push is this and now that will be it is removed from array so in the same way you can check for array underscore unshift so that will be add a element to the as a first element in array so you can write array underscore unshift so this take again two parameter first one is array let me write dollar names and I add let me add alka and then you can use for each loop dollar names as dollar name and echo t or whatever variable formatting you like here I just provide echo h1 after array unshift slash h1 save this code and to visualize it so here it will alka will be the first element into it same way there is a array shift function also like unshift you can use array underscore shift so this is very similar to unshift it will actually remove and return the first element of array so here I just write after array shift and the function is array shift it will take only one parameter and then we run this so if I ok I have to print that value so let me write dollar shift is equal to this echo h1 shifted value is dollar shift save this one let me execute it so it will display shifted values is this one and then I have to provide br so you get exit idea so shifted value is the first value and rest all are your error element because now the alka has been removed from that one so that will be used for your like lifo and fifo you can use for your data structure this four function array push pop unshift and shift so these are the four basic functions of course there are some more functions let us discuss one by one these functions are helpful to short an array because you require to short array whenever you use it so one such function is short 
that will be shorter and take optional parameter compare. Compare is a either regular or string or numeric. If you uh, set the constant short underscore string, so before shorting it will be convert the value into string and then short it. Let me give demonstration of that. So here will let me create new uh, file and I create php opening and closing tag. Let me take the same error so I don't need to type it. So let me create dollar names is this error. Save this file as a file. Save as I give this one as a array function two dot php. So this all are array. Now I can say echo h1 before shorting the array. So this is the original our array is for each dollar names as dollar name and print echo br dollar name then short it I use short and dollar names echo h1 after shorting the array names slash h1 again use for each loop for each dollar names as dollar name and echo br dollar name let me save this file and demonstrate it open it in the browser so open this one so look at here first before as usual value jay darshan pauna rekha and divya then it is in alphabetical order first pauna then darshan then divya jay and rekha so this is the how it can short work this is by default in ascending order if you want to do in re reverse order then it is use the function r short so let me write here r short and just type echo h1 reverse order shorting slash h1 and r short type dollar names now when you use this shorting there is actually re-indexing not re-indexing the array it will be take the array same say for example let me first show demo of r short so it will be first make rekha then jay then divya darshan and bhavna but the function a short is ascending short but it will be re-indexed there and now how it will be so let me first example give you by for each here i write dollar i for index and dollar v and here i type for shorting also as well as for r short also you can use dollar index arrow operator dollar name and here i print dollar i colon dollar name so save this one if i run this one so here it is 0 1 2 3 4 but after reverse shorting it will be 0 1 is j second is divya third is this and fourth is this one so this is when you short it before shorting i haven't written it let me display that one also i again write dollar key dollar name and dollar key colon dollar name so i execute this one so it is 0 1 2 3 4 now look at index is change here 2 is bhavna here 2 is divya right so that's uh, the difference when you use but if i apply now here uh, a short for ascending order so let me type here instead of only short let me type here a short and then i run this just look at here 
so if i execute it so look at here 2 1 4 and 0 and 3 as it is so this is the air short now if you want to apply according to key value here i don't take any associate array then it will be more helpful to you so let me give idea about k short say for example again, again i take one array dollar milk is array and milk type say for example cow milk and its price is let's say 20 rupees then slim and trim so its price is 27 rupees then gold so gold type will be 25 rupees then diamond so the cost of this one is 26 rupees toned milk the price of this one is 23 and for tea special the price is 24 so now I can use short or simply a short let me write echo h1 original array is slash h1 and for each dollar milk as dollar type arrow operator and dollar price we print echo br concatenate operator dollar type to provide space again concatenate operator provide space and dollar price save this one execute this so it will display cow slim entry gold diamond etc now I would like to short according to key wise there so now I apply k short there so let me write k short array is dollar milk now to display that I just copy paste that code because it is just displayed so let me write after k short here key is type of milk so execute this so now look at here first it will display cow then diamond then gold then snt then t special and finally tone if you apply only short then it will be short according to value means price so here it will be display on price because here it will be display short or you can apply uh, a short so this is ascending order uh, as well as it will be that way cow 20 23 24 25 26 and 27 so this is about a short k short to make reverse order shorting you can use ar short so that will be make shorting in reverse order let me just show you this so first 27 26 25 and if you want to reverse ordering on key wise so it will be kr short that means it is in reverse order shorting based on key so first it will be toned then t special snt gold diamond and cow so this all are shorting function one another good function is shuffle so that will be shuffle the value so let me give one example of shuffle so let me create new file here php file save as i called this one as a shuffle demo dot php let's say you are aware about playing cards so there are four types of faces in cards so let me define dollar types is equal to in playing card are four types the types are known as a club diamond heart and sped and dollar rank ranks are 
that again I take one array with value 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King and S. So these are the two array. Now I can use dollar cards is array. Then I can apply for each dollar types as dollar T and for each dollar ranks as dollar R and then I define dollar cards is assigned to dollar T dot dollar R okay I just need only it is a one dimension array so this one right and once it is added into it I can display it so I just type for each dollar cards as dollar card echo and I just provide dollar card but I have to provide some space to separate each card and here I provide echo br cards are so what are cards we have that I have just displayed here so I let me save this file let me run this file so I open it here so you can see c2 c3 c4 c5 c10 you can count it also so let me use just count function to get the exit idea dollar c and t is assigned to count dollar cards and I can say echo h1 there are total dollar c and t cards it should be 52 because 13 ranks and 4 types so this is 52 right so there are 52 cards now you can shuffle this card so let me apply the function shuffle dollar cards and then to take any 5 value you can take 4 dollar c is assigned to 0 dollar c is less than or equal to 4 and dollar c plus plus and you can just take dollar cards and dollar c let me type echo and print this value and provide some space and let me just display here echo h1 after shuffle slash h1 save this one refresh it so here after shuffle you can get this five card if you shuffle it again your card may be different here you get s of spade rank 3 of heart rank 7 of heart rank 4 of diamond and uh, rank 5 of spade so this is you can shuffle card so this is the shuffle function that you can apply there are many more functions but for example purpose i have taken this one so let's summarize what we have considered in today's lecture uh, we've come through multi-dimensional array this is also known as a arrays of array they are known as a rectangle array or two dimensional array if the nested are array are not of same size then it is known as a jagged array and then we discuss about all the sorting function as well as some functions like uh, array uh, shift unshift push pop etc uh, this is all about array i hope you are enjoying this 
you can get this i get references from all this and uh, you can get more idea at php site php.net